Bronx Barbershop is still on the run tonight. That shooting was caught on surveillance cameras from several different angles. Derek Waller reports from University Heights. And Jessica detectives here at the 4-6 precinct still looking for that gunman who opened fire on a crowded barbershop in the middle of the afternoon. Security cameras caught everything. At 2.16 p.m. last Sunday, you see two men roll up on that moped on University Avenue. Seconds later, the guy in the white shirt whips out a gun from his waistband and unloads. From inside the barber shop, you can see how those bullets just narrowly missed the people inside as everyone quickly got down on the ground. More than a dozen people were inside, including children. Even more alarming. Yeah, every last one of them dudes is lucky as shit that this dude was such a poor shot. That was like shooting fish in a barrel and he missed every last one of them. It was about 10, 12 dudes crunched into that little barber shop. There should be some funeral planning going on in the Bronx right now. To the Avenue. Seconds later, the guy in the white shirt whips out a gun from his waistband and unloads. From inside the barber shop, you can see how those bullets just narrowly missed the people inside as everyone quickly got down on the ground. More than a dozen people were inside, including children. Even more alarming, shop workers tell me they have no idea who that gunman is. Never, 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 never we have problem with nobody. Are you afraid to come to work? Yeah, every day, yeah. whole day, you know, it's so dangerous. More so they say they don't know who the shooter was and the shooter's still on the run. And these niggas is back at work like a day later. Not me. All right. There was somebody in that barbershop that they were targeting, whether that was a customer in there that where somebody saw their target in there and went back and said, yo, this nigga's at the barbershop or one of the barbers. There's a lot of gang activity and drug dealing up in the Bronx. So I wouldn't be surprised. If there was a rival drug dealer or, or some rival gang member that was in that barbershop that they were aiming at. There's a lot of dangerous places in the Bronx. I wouldn't go in them barbershops. I wouldn't go in them damn bodegas. Every day, yeah. whole day, you know. It's so dangerous. More video shows the bullet holes left behind. And while the NYPD has recently had success cutting the number of shootings citywide by 11% compared to this time last year, here in the 4-6 precinct, the numbers are going in the wrong direction, up 10% from last year. Today, the barbers are back to work. We need to work. We need to continue to work. And the phone shop next door is also back open. Their security video now in the hands of detectives. And there was no masking ball, so uh, they just got to do what they do, you know? All right. And hopefully they catch the guy. And again, thankfully, nobody was injured by that gunfire, but that gunman is still out there. If you have any information that can help investigators, call the anonymous Crime Stoppers tip line, 1-800-577-TIPS. In the Bronx, Derek Waller, CBS News, New York. And this is why you couldn't pay me to live in the Bronx. This is why you wouldn't catch me dead in the Bronx. That shit is a third world country. I haven't been to a Yankee game in 20 years. Because I don't want to go up into the Bronx. So I'm going to ask y'all one question. Then I'm going to get out of here. All right. So who does not a drive-by, but a scooter walk-up? In broad daylight, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, on a Sunday, with no mask on. Hmm? Answer that, Einstein. Yeah, who does a scooter walk up in broad daylight, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, when everybody's outside, on a Sunday, with no mask on? Come on, this should be easy. An illegal immigrant who knows he's on no facial recognition software or in a law enforcement database to get caught. That's who. So if you have any question in your mind about who the fuck this shooter was, he definitely wasn't foundational black American. I know that. And this is why these people riding around on these scooters are a potential threat. This is why they should be made to register these motorcycles. These little scooters need to be registered.
Because that's why these motherfuckers is doing all of these hits on these shits. Ain't no license plate. So when a cop see one of these dudes on the fucking bike and he ain't got no license plate, he need to be pulled over and that bike need to be confiscated. Y'all thought the Bronx was bad already? You ain't seen nothing yet. Two teenagers are facing attempted murder charges for a shooting at a Bronx barber shop. For a shooting at a Bronx barber shop. Bronx barber shop. Police say the shooting happened inside a shop on East Gun Hill Road around 6:45 October 22nd. Surveillance video shows the suspect walk into the shop and fire at a guy sitting in a barber chair near the door. The victim was hit in the stomach but was stable when they got to the hospital. A 17-year-old and 18-year-old, 17-year-old and 18-year-old Brandon Beltres are now facing charges. Katie Johnston for CBSN New York. Disturbing surveillance video of a brazen robbery at a Bronx barbershop. Bronx barbershop. At a Bronx barbershop. A man pulling a gun and aiming it at an employee's head with serious consequences. Oh, they shot him. The drama unfolding on Friday here at the D'Augustin Barbershop. Friday here at the D'Augustin Barbershop off the Grand Concourse on 170th Street around 9 p.m. Police say the gun-toting man in the red hat approached a 40-year-old barber, Ocalis Brito, and tried to forcibly steal his gold chain and bracelet, but the barber resisted. That's when police say the second suspect pulled another gun out and shot Brito in the right arm and the abdomen. Both gunmen ran off with the victim's chain and bracelet. It's a shame. They shoot people for everything now. For no reason. Over oh, chain. And that is not something you would have to worry about with all that silver-plated silver you have around your neck, sir. Which is also smart on your behalf because you don't make yourself a target. But, sir, when you're walking around the Bronx and somebody is wearing a $20,000, $30,000, $50,000 or more chain, that isn't nothing. That is a $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 lick. I've seen a lot of Dominicans walking around New York City with truck jewelry on. Even made me do a double take. You know, I have a nice uh, Cuban link with a Nefertiti piece on it. And I can't wear that shit everywhere. And the Bronx is one of them. I got to tuck my chain in certain places. And niggas still be scoping the imprint on my shirt. I be seeing niggas look. And these barbers be having Benzes and BMWs and motorcycles right outside of their shops. So... If you live in the Bronx and you broke and you tired of snatching old ladies' purses and getting around the corner just to find $25 and some arthritis pills, yeah, you're going to start targeting these barbershops. It's dangerous. It's strong-arm robbery. But you're going with the hope that any gangster that's in there can't use his gun anyway because his gun is illegal. So even if he shot and killed you in self-defense, he would still go to jail for possession of the firearm. So a lot of criminals, you know, they use that sort of thinking when they pick out their targets. Both gunmen ran off with the victim's chain and bracelet. It's a shame. They're shooting people for everything now. For no reason. Over oh, chain? Oh, it's... Barbershop employee Carmelo Saldiva tells me in Spanish, quote, it was scary. Horrible. Makes us scary next door is all the store owners. Freddy Igbara is the owner of Zach's Furniture just a few doors down from the barbershop. He tells me Ocalis Brito is a friend, a fixture in the neighborhood. He's a cool guy. He's, you know, everyone in this area likes him. Police say the barber was taken to a hospital in stable condition. Cops are actively searching for the two suspects who they say wore dark clothing, one of them in a red baseball cap. Police say they should be considered armed and dangerous. In the Mount Eaton section of the Bronx, Scott Rappaport, CBS2 News.